Hello everyone, this is Wes, and what you're looking at here is the first iteration of the Nintendo box that I'm building, the Nintendo PC that I'm building sitting here on my chair. You're looking at the motherboard, uh, the power supply. This is not the power supply that will be in it, it's just something to test it out with. It's my roommate's power supply, and, um, and it's hooked up to this monitor right here so we can see if it actually comes on. And what I'm testing out tonight is this right here. This is the power switch assembly for the uh, Nintendo, which I took out. It was attached to a circuit board, and I had to desolder everything from the circuit board and basically detach it from that. And then I soldered um, wires directly to the contacts um, and had those wires going directly into this motherboard here. They're plugged in right there. And it was actually the first time I've ever soldered anything, so um, I actually learned a little bit. And a pretty crappy job, I imagine, but it does the job, so I'm glad it worked. Anyway, let's check it out. So let's go ahead and hit the power button. We'll see if it comes on, and hopefully you will witness the birth of the NES Nintendo uh, PC build that I'm doing. So here we go. And as you can see, when I hit the power button, the LED comes on. It looks like the power supply came on. And it looks like we have successful posts which is always a good sign, so it lives. And let's see if the reset button works. I'll change my position. And I'm just gonna hit the reset button. It should just come right back up. And it does. So it looks like all the buttons work. Uh, my crappy soldering job did the trick. But uh, anyway, there you go. You've seen the birth of the NES box and Stay tuned for more in the future. Thanks, everybody.